So guys, I wanted to do a super quick video on here on how to unbond my bridge and stratton generator. This is a storm responder and probably a lot of the other generators on the market are very similar. They, I think they all use a very similar generator head. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm gonna remove the neutral to bond uh, connector and why I want to do that is because I don't want to use this unit as a standalone generator. So if I were just using it and I was plugging in outlets to here, you know, 120 volt outlets to here, 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 I would leave the neutral bond connected. But because I'm wiring this into my house, I already have a neutral bond point and that's at my uh, transfer panel uh, and my load panel inside my house. So I don't want to have two neutral um, ground bond points because um, by doing that would enable electric to flow down both of those wires, um, the neutral and the ground. And uh, that's not a good thing to have. So uh, in this situation, because I'm connecting it to my house, I'm going to break the bond. And the bond is real simple. Um, Probably a little hard to see in here. Okay, so hopefully this is a little uh, lit up than, than the first shot. But on every generator head, there's a ground point. And on mine, it's right here. So you can kind of see this green goes up into this cord, which goes up into the electric panel of the generator. Um, and on my particular generator, I don't know, I'm gonna try to get a good shot in here. That ground also connects to this lug right here. And this lug connects to this lug right here because this is the neutral. So um, in this particular, the way this is wired, the gray is one hot 120 volt leg. The blue is the hot under, other 120 volt leg. And the two, um, this red one here, and it's a black one, they are my neutrals. So. There's a jumper wire here that connects these two together. And then there's, it also on that lug connects the ground together. So what I'm gonna do is just simply remove this ground from the neutral and that will effectively unbond this generator. Okay, so what I've done is I successfully removed the ground jumper. So you can see right now the ground just goes up into the um, panel and it's no longer connected. And uh, what I did was I hooked up my voltmeter so that it will make a sound and you'll be able to hear it when the two connect. So just as an example here. And what this will prove out is I'm gonna put one jumper on the ground and then one jumper on the uh, two neutrals just to show you that it's not uh, connected anymore. So I got the red up on the ground lug and then I'm touching the first neutral and there's no sound, which is good. That means it's unbonded. Now I got it on the, red, um, the ground again. I'm gonna touch the second neutral and there's no sound. What I can also do to prove it out that it's not bonded anymore is if I go up into one of the outlets I can go into the ground and I can go into the neutral and there's no noise now to prove that out I can leave this in the ground here in the red and I'm just gonna go head down here and just touch it um, on the frame or the ground point and you could hear so you can hear the ground is connected to the ground, but it's no longer connected to the neutral.